Everybody. Welcome to Pre-K Discovery with Miss Barb. How are you today? Let's get started by singing the good morning song. Are you ready? Oh, the duck says quack and the cow says moo. The old red rooster says cock-a-doodle-doo. The sheep says ba and the cat says meow. But I say good morning when I see you. So good morning everybody. Let's get started. I have a lot for you to do today. We have a letter of the day, we have a shape today, and I'm so excited because it's a new month. Do you guys remember the song that we sing to do the months of the year? Let's see if you remember. It goes like this. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. All right, so we need to figure out what month of the year this is. And it starts with the letter A, G-U-S-T. August, this is the month of August. And that was in our song. This is the eighth month of the year. And do you remember how many months there are? There's 12, 12 months, and this one is number eight. And it's still 2020, that hasn't changed, and that won't change for a while. We still got some months to go. So let's figure out what day of the week it is. Do you remember the days of the week song? Would you like to clap today or would you like to snap? I think we should clap today, ready? So here we go, days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, <coughs> days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Very good. Do you remember which day of the week today is? Well, I know that today is this day because it's a red day on here. And usually I have a little thing that says today, but for some reason I did not put that in there. So today is Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So today is August the 5th, 2020. And today, as I am taping this for you, it's a sunny day outside. And August is a summer month. It's a hot month. So it's gonna stay hot for the rest of this month. So we've done the month, the days of the week, but have we counted to what number today is? I don't think we've done that yet. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Today is the fifth day of the month, and we've got a whole bunch to go because we just started this month. All right, <clears throat> so that's our calendar for today. I'd like to talk about our letter of the day. So our letter of the day is going to give you a clue as to what story Miss Barb is going to read today. So let me see what our letter of the day is. Our letter of the day is the letter C. And C is for the word chicken. C-H-I-C-K-E-N. Chicken. And you can see I have a really cool picture of chickens. So the reason I picked the letter C for today and the word chicken is because we are going to read a story called The Little Red Hen. And I'm going to tell you more about that in a little bit, but there's a shape out there that starts with the letter C. Do you guys know what shape that is? Are you thinking? Hmm, I think it might be the circle. C-I-R-C-L-E. Circle has actually has two C's in it. And do you guys remember the song that we sing to remember a circle? This is a circle, this is a circle. How can you tell? How can you tell? It goes round and round, it goes round and round. It's a circle, it's a circle. And that is our circle. So if you look around your room where you are, can you see anything in that room that's shaped like a circle? Well, I brought some circle shaped things to show you. So my first one is a roll of tape and it is a circle. And you can see that a circle doesn't have any edges on it. It's completely round and it's smooth on the edges. So this is a circle and this is a roll of tape and it's a circle. What else does Miss Barb have? Well, 
I have this. This is a coaster. You put your cup of tea on it and it keeps your tea from getting on your table. And mine is a circle. It's made out of cork and it's a circle. So that is my coaster. What else do I have? Oh, this flower pot. You may not think it's a circle, but when you turn it like this, it's also a circle. I don't have any plants in here, but maybe later I will. So this is a circle too. This side is. What else? Oh, I know you probably have this in your house. How many of you have a paper plate at home? This paper plate is also a circle because it goes around on the edges. So this is a circle too. Mine's a white one. And I have one more thing for you because we're going to use this later today when we make our craft. This is a red solo cup. And when you hold it like this, you can see that the end of it is a circle too. And mine has a little hole in the bottom of it, but I'm going to show you that later and you'll see why it has a hole in it. So our letter of the day is the letter C and it's like this. It goes whoosh, it comes around. It's pretty cool. And our shape of the day was a circle because it starts with the letter C. So we're going to read the story of the little red hen. And I think you're going to like it because it talks about how we can help other people. Because in the story, they're not very good helpers. So let's go on and let's read The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen had a full house. She lived with a cat, a dog, and a mouse. The cat, the dog, and the mouse were a lazy bunch. They slept all day while the Little Red Hen worked. She did all of the cooking, cleaning, and gardening. One day, while she was in the garden, the little red hen found some grains of wheat. Who will help me plant this wheat, she asked. <clears throat> Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I guess I will do it myself, said the little red hen. So she planted the wheat and helped it to grow. When the wheat was ready, the little red hen asked, who will help me cut this wheat? Not I was all she heard. Then I guess I will do it myself, she exclaimed. So the little red hen cut the wheat herself. After the wheat was cut, the little red hen said, this wheat must be ground into flour. Who will take it to the meal? Again, she heard not I. Then I guess I will do it myself, she said with a sigh. <sighs> so the little red hen took the wheat to the mill and she returned with a big sack of flour. Who will help me make bread from this flour, she asked. Not I, shouted the dog. Not I, shouted the cat. And not I, shouted the mouse. The little red hen muttered, then I guess I will do it myself. And she spent the entire afternoon baking bread. When the bread was done, the little red hen asked, who will help me eat this bread? I will, yelled the cat. I will, yelled the dog, and I will, yelled the mouse. I don't think so. I've done everything myself. And I will eat this bread myself too, said the little red hen with a smile. And she ate every last crumb all by herself. The end. So I hope you enjoyed that story. I thought it was a really, really good story. Although, would you have helped the little red hen make that bread? That bread looked pretty tasty to me. I think helping her would have been a good choice. So. We're going to talk about chickens today because the little red hen is a chicken and I have this book it's called In the Chicken Coop and it's got some facts about chickens because Miss Barb she didn't know a lot about chickens and what's the first thing she does when she doesn't know something? Where does she go? Well of course she goes to the library and sometimes she won't lie to you sometimes she googles things but we have so much information here at the library that, you know, it's always a good idea to see if we have a book about it. So this is called In the Chicken Coop. 
It says, as the sun comes up, the rooster crows, cock-a-doodle-doo. It's time for the chickens to wake up. A rooster is a male chicken, and there is a rooster. It says, the hens leave their roost, and they peck the ground for food. Yum, cracked corn, yum, a beetle. It says, farmers feed chickens ground corn, and chickens also eat bugs, grain, fruit, and seeds. There's the chickens. Whoops. It says, some of the hens go sit in the nest. They will lay eggs in the nest. Some of the hens stay and sit on their eggs to keep them warm. It says, eggs must be kept warm. This is where baby chickens come from. It says, not eggs will hatch a chick. These farmers take away these eggs, and these are the eggs that you eat. How many of you like eggs? Miss Barb likes eggs a lot. It says, farmers raise chickens for eggs and for meat. So there's a chicken egg. Yum. It says, what is that noise? An eggshell cracks, and soon a chick chick is heard, and a chick hatches from its shell. Chicks are baby chickens. Are. They're super cute. It says the chick is wet and soon the chick dries and it's soft is down is fluffy and yellow. The chick follows its mother and the chicks are covered in feathers called down. They're so soft. It says the hens in the yard spend most of the day pecking for food. They scratch the ground and they peck 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 and hens use their claws to scratch the ground and their claws are sharp nails. So there they are looking for food. It says the chicks learn to hunt for food and they follow the hens and they peck the ground. Chickens do not drink milk. They eat corn and bugs just like adult chickens. So there they are looking for food just like their mom. It says the rooster stretches his wings and crows and the roosters crow to show that they are the bosses. Roosters crow throughout the day, not just in the morning. So you can hear a, crow, a rooster crowing anytime. It says it's time for the chickens to go back to bed. Each chicken finds its roost. Cock a doodle doo. There they are getting ready to go to bed. And that is our book in the chicken coop. So I'm really excited. I have this craft for you guys to try. And it's supposed to be a clucking chicken. So these are some of the things that you're going to need a cup. And I just so happened to have a red solo cup at the library. I used them for other things. Some string, a piece of yellow paper, I have some, and some feathers. And I have a piece of sponge. Now you think you may not have a piece of sponge, but I bet your mom uses sponges to clean at the kitchen sink. So. These are my instructions right here. And I also have a cup of water, which I'm gonna to explain to you why I have that in a little bit. So the first thing I need to do is very carefully, with a grown up's help, I need to poke a hole in the bottom of my cup, right there. And I poked it and I can see you through the cup, so there's a hole. And I need to cut a piece of string. Now according to the instructions on here, it says that my string only needs to be eight to 10 inches long. Well. This is my ruler, and my ruler is 12 inches long. And when I cut the first string, I made it 12 inches long, and I didn't think it was long enough for my cup because this solo cup is a little bit bigger than the one in the picture. So I'm going to double the length of my string, and then I'm gonna cut it. So I wrapped it around here, and I got my scissors, and I'm gonna cut it. Maybe, I'm gonna cut it. There we go. All right, so now I got my string. And there it is, 12, 24 inches long because I made it two times the length of my roller. So I'm gonna have to put it through the cup, which sometimes this is the hardest thing to do. So I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna just poke it down through there, just so I can get it in there, maybe. Hopefully Miss Barb won't poke herself. Let's see, let me get it in there so I can pull it through. All right, let's see, do I have it through? And I do. And I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna put a knot on the end of it because I don't want it to go through. So I'm gonna wrap it around my finger and I'm gonna make a double knot because I don't want it to pull through. So I'm gonna wrap it there and again and pull.
pull it tight. Let's see if it goes through. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I got that. All right, now, what does it say to do next? It says, pull the string through. Miss Barb did that. It's always good to follow instructions the way they're written. All right, so cut a diamond shape from your paper and fold it in half. This makes the duck's beak. So my yellow construction paper, I'm gonna fold it in half like that. I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm gonna cut a triangle. So there's one side of it and there's the other side of it. So now look at that, I have a triangle. And you can use glue, but I'm gonna use tape right now because that's what Miss Barb has and it's kind of easier for me to do. And I'm gonna stick it on here like a beak. And this is going to be our chicken's beak. And here, I'm going to show you in one second. All right, let's see. There you go. Look at that. And he has a beak. All right, so what else does my chicken need? Well, it says that he needs some feathers. Or you could cut feathers if you don't have any. I just so happen to have at the library some feathers, some red ones too. So I'm going to get a piece of tape, and I'm going to roll it in a little curly cue. I'm going to stick it on the side here, so I'm going to stick that one here, and stick a feather on that. So there's one feather, and let's see, I'm going to put one on the other side too. So I'm going to roll another piece of tape, and I'm going to stick it on that side, opposite side. So now i got two feathers. So there's my chicken. Chick, 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 chick. And I forgot to bring some googly eyes, otherwise he would have some eyes, but you can draw some eyes on there if you don't have googly eyes. So there's my chicken. Okay, so now I have this string and I have this sponge and you're wondering why I have this sponge. Well it says that I need to cut the sponge according to the instructions one inch by two inch. So this is a little bit longer. I'm going to cut it so like that. Alright so there's my sponge like that. Okay? And my sponge needs to be wet. There's why Miss Barb has the water. So I'm going to dip it in there let it soak up some water and I'm going to squeeze it out because I don't need it to be dripping all over the place. Alright there, I wet it. So now I'm going to tie this sponge to the end of my string. All right, I'm going to tie it on. If you need help tying, get your grown up to help you. Or if you have an older brother or sister that can help you, or grandma or papa or an aunt or uncle. All right, anyone who's a grown up that can help you tie. There we go. So I'm going to tie it double because I don't want it to fall off. All right. So, all right. So this is what it looks like. I got my chicken. I got my string and I got my straw. So now you're wondering, Miss Barb, why did you do all that and why did you put the thing on, the sponge on there? Well, I'm gonna show you because not only does this chicken look like a chicken, it's gonna cluck. So you take your, your sponge and your string and you're gonna grab a hold of your string. And hopefully this will work. And you go, oh, Miss Barb pulled it out. I didn't have a tight enough knot. But if you do that, it makes a chicken sound. And now I'm very upset because I have to pull it back through here. And I don't know if I can get it through there or not. So sometimes not everything works the way you want to. But I don't know if you were able to hear, but it did have a kind of clucking sound. And that's what it'll do. So you'll just take it, and I don't know if I can hold it in there or not. So you take it like this, so your string is inside, and you go like this, and when you pull it, it should make a noise. Did you hear that? It would be better if it wasn't coming off. And that is our chicken that clucks for our craft today. So if any of you would like the instructions on how to make my chicken, you can always email Miss Barb at the library. And somewhere down on the bottom of the screen, there might have been my email address, and I'm hoping it was on there. If not, just look on the library's website, and you can email me, and I will send you the instructions on how to make a chicken. So everyone have a really good day, and be a good helper, and you might get some bread from the Little Red Hen. Bye, everyone.